Hello, welcome to another Sonic Racing Grassroots Modding tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going through importing models into the game, either being new models rigged to a skeleton of the game or edit models already in the game. For the sake of being swift, I will make a simple edit of a model already in the game. However, the process applies to everything. I won't be showing you how to actually do things in Blender because this is, in, this is a modding tutorial, not a Blender tutorial. Um, but that being said, a you need for this is obviously Blender, F model to export the models, and Unreal Engine to actually do things. Now, I highly recommend you use the custom build for a multitude of reasons. Other than that, I'll also be showing you how to replace textures and how to make material instances. What are material instances? These are basically children of another material. For example, you can take Sonic's fur material and make an instance of that. So then the new instance will look at Sonic's fur material for information like how it's supposed to look. And then you can simply tell the instance to load a different texture. And that will make life much easier than trying to manually change things in a material. So let's start. I am Unit F model to export things. If you haven't already watched the video for expecting uh, assets, I highly recommend you do. But all you need to do is make sure you have your settings set to PSK model and not UE model. At least in my experience, PSK works better and has less issues. So I'm going to export these two shadow models. I'm expecting both of them because I'm going to be replacing both of them. And the thing is that the, sh the side model uses a different skeleton from the main model. So I need to edit both of them se separately. So I'm going to import both of them here. Now I'm going to make the edits in a time lapse just to show you the process, but keep in mind that I, this, is, this is a template tutorial. I'm not going to teach you Blender. You just, I'm just doing this so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll be back when I'm done with this. Right, as you can see, I made a simple edit to remove his mouth to make him look like Mephiles from Sonic 06 before he transformed. So, now that this is done, we're going to export the models. I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to put it over the other skeleton so I can export both of them. All right, so it's the export process. When you're exporting things, make sure you rename the skeleton and the first bone on the list to an armature. The, the first bone should be named the same as the actual armature itself. So in this case, it's SK Shadow and SK Shadow. Both need to be renamed to armature. Now we simply export as FBX. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable selected objects. I'm doing this so it doesn't export both of them in one file. If you only have one, one model, then don't worry about it. I'm going to make a, a quick new folder here for the, the model. I'm going to set the scale to 0 0.01. In geometry, enable tangent space. In amateur, disable add leak bones. Because this will add new bones to the skeleton that there were in there and it's going to cause problems in the game. So now we're simply going to name the mesh after what it's supposed to be, which is the case it's SK Shadow, and then we're going to do export. Then we'll do the same thing to the other one. Now we're going to open Unreal Engine. You can either work with vanilla version and make a new project on your own, or you can as I highly recommend, and I will keep recommending, using the custom one. That also comes with a custom project for itself. So we're going to go here, Windows, Engine, Binaries, 164, Unreal Editor, and open it. This is gonna take a, lo a lot of time for me because it's uh, currently in my external drive, which is very slow because it's on USB drive. So I am probably going to be making a cut and coming back once Unreal Engine opens. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, there are two things that can happen when you open Unreal Engine. It might immediately try to open the uh, actual actual project itself, or it might open like this. If it opens like this, simply go to Browse and go to the folder where the, where the project is. In this case, it would be, I just opened the wrong one. It's opening the older version. So excuse me, give me a second. In this case, it will be in the, the folder, Windows, Union, and the Union U project. We simply open that here. And now it will relaunch opening the project. It shouldn't take as long as before, 
it was still gonna take long for me because again i'm in a usb drive so it's gonna take a second so i'm going to make a cut actually i might not need to but i'm going to make a cut and then come back once it's done all right this is something i forgot to mention the first time you open the project it's going to start compiling shaders that is completely fine it's gonna probably gonna take a long time depending on your drive and your computer and everything uh but this is only for the first time you open the project every time afterwards it's gonna open fairly quickly so don't you need to worry about it it's just a, a one-time thing all right now that the project open we can work on setting things up we're going to be recreating the same file path in here than in the game so we're going to be doing this again we have the content folder so we need to start from union so we're going to make 01 union asset character now we're going to put the name of the character in this case i'm not in shadow so i'm going to do in shadow if you don't know, if you're not sure, just check. But for the most part, they're all just named the name of the character itself. And then we're going to make a mesh folder. We're also going to go back into character and make a common folder and a skeleton folder. Why? This is because the skeleton used for the normal meshes are here for the most part. Some characters use their own. Some characters share with uh, everybody else, like Shadow. So when we import, we're going to do it like this. So let's import the models. I have them right here. So first we're going to import the normal one. So drag and drop it into here. Open the advanced tab here. Set this to import normals, normals and tangents. And you can either set this to not create or to create. I would recommend you set it to create so it already gives you empty materials you can use as a base. So after everything is set up, just press import all. Now you will see our model is right here. So now we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to select everything and press Ctrl S to save it. Now we're going to rename the skeleton to normal underscore skeleton. And we're going to move it to the skeleton folder which is created. Now we're going to go back to shadow and make a material folder. We're going to put all the materials that were just created in there. So we're going to just select all of them and just drag and drop them here. This only works if you kept all the materials named the same. If you didn't, you'll have to either rename the ones that I created or create new ones with these names. So now I am going to simply import this without a texture so I can show you how it works and then we can go back and add textures. All right, I almost forget to import the side mouth model. Remember, the side mouth is only used in cinematics, like Rebel animations and wind animations. So let's import it. In this case, I'm going to set it to not create materials because if I if you do that, it's going to look for materials that already exist with the same name. So if you import all, you will see that it's already had the same material preset from the one we created before. So now we're going to save and save everything. Now, the side mouth models have their own skeleton. Once again, we are not going to be repackaging this because if you do, things are going to break a lot. So now you're going to go up here to platforms, windows, and you're going to cook content for development as it's already set up by default. This is going to take a long time the first time you do it because it's going to start compiling shaders and start compiling things that the engine needs to function. And then it's going to create your assets. This is only a one-time thing. After the first time, things will work completely okay. And it'll be very fast. Obviously, very fast for your average time of your uh, computer and drive. So I'm going to press cook, con cook content and I'll make a cut and come back once it's done. Because, again, I'm on external drive. It's going to take forever for me. You'll see here that it was, it's going to start up like this and it will just get be going. So I'll be back in a second. All right. Once it's finished cooking, you can go and get your files. Where are the files, you might ask? We're going to go into where the project is, which is engine windows union and fast going to be in saved and cooked windows union so you're going to copy this into this retalk workflow that i'm going to link in the description retalk it's uh, the, the works the the work the workflow it the workflow itself was made uh, by beats so thanks to him for doing all this uh, this was just a little stripped down because I, I'm not going to be using a lot of the, uh, some, this version, this, 
this version is a little bit uh, this version is slightly stripped down because I'm not gonna be using every feature the block for the workflow had. So the other thing that uh, matters to us is the game mode. So we went to the game mode union content zero one union. These are some files that were there but before. Don't worry about it. Just delete them. This was made for the demo, so we were trying demo things. So now just copy the as folder from here to here. Go in, delete the common folder because you don't want it. Go into mesh, delete the physics asset and the skeleton, leaving only the meshes, and delete the material folder. Now go back and press, and press on repack mod. Once repacking is finished, you will see your things in the game repack folder. So now just copy this into the game. Go into crosswords, properties, start files, browse, union, content, packs, and put it here. Uh, remember to close F model if you have it open because it won't let you edit, add any files if they're very being loaded. And open the game. All right, so now if we go into shadow, you will see that his mouth is missing and also his nose, because I guess I messed that up by accident. Uh, but yeah, you can see the model import is working completely fine. So now we're gonna do textures and material instances. So let's close the game and go back into the engine. Please, there we go. So for textures, we're going to add a texture folder. We're going to add our edit texture. I already have an edit I made a, a while ago for this because I am actually working on a MyFitness model. A model I made, no model. So we're going to export union content, one union asset character shadow texture. So let's, th this is my already edited texture. I'm going to open it in Photoshop so you can see the edit. I'm not going to teach you how to edit textures. This is entirely up to you. This time I'm just showing you how to actually get them in game. So you can see these are my textures edit to look like my fillers. So, a cool thing about Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine is that you can actually drag and drop PSD files. So if you work with Photoshop, you can just do this. As you can see, it's right here. So save. You can change the compression settings to BC7 if you want to. If it makes the textures look better, in this case it doesn't, but you can do it anyway if you really wanted to. So, now we're going to make an instance. To do this, we're going to select the material we want to change, in this case, the fur. You're going to right click it and create a material instance. You create one of these. I'm going to name it something like Methylus Body, for example. You can see that you can't actually put anything in here. That is because you need to set up the actual material first. So, go into the parent by double clicking this, and you'll find yourself here. Delete this. Drag and drop from here. Add texture sample. Pick a random texture from Brilliant Engine, this one for example. Now right click it and convert to parameter. Name the parameter BC like this and now save. Now if you go back to the instance we've made, you can see that now we have this, a global texture parameter with the same BC. Uh, enable it, and then go into your texture, click on it, and then you can press here, and this will automatically set it to whatever asset you have selected. In this case, the texture. Now, lastly, we're going back into the model, both of them, and you are going to, once again, select my first body, or whatever you named it, and once again, press on the arrow, and that's going to automatically set it. Save it, then leave, go into shadow side, and do the same thing. You can also open here and search manually, if it was body. Save, close, and then cook again. Actually, before we move on, I'm gonna show you how to re-import models. So as you saw in the import, Shadow's nose was broken in my in my mod. This is because this is using a, a bone that doesn't exist in the normal skeleton. You see that if I move this, the nose doesn't follow. So I'm going to fix this by simply rigging the entire nose to the head bone. I'm going to re-export the model again. 
remember to keep the settings. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. The first one will be to just delete it and re-import again, which is valid. Or you can do this, open it or right-click it and then re-import. You can either do it like this, clicking here, or you can open it and click on this. Or we'll see in this case, you will notice anything changing because all it was changing some weights, but you know, so now I can save and now I can press the cook button. All right, Unreal finished cooking again. So we're going to, if it happens like this, where you're, you're set back to the folder, you can just press F5 to refresh and files should come back. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. Okay, asset character, shadow, mesh. I'm gonna copy both of them. Actually, no, I'll just copy this one. The other one I, was, I didn't modify. Uh, I'm gonna go back into the folder for retalk. Game mod, union, content, asset, character, shadow, mesh, and paste it. Now, for the materials, for the instance we just made, copy the material folder and delete everything except for Mephila's body. Also, copy the textures in. And also, because I am stupid and I forgot that I did edit the shadow size, so I'm gonna put that in too. Now we can go back into Retalk Workflow, Repack Mod. Let's continue, Game Repack, copy this into the Packs folder that I need to reopen again because I lost it. Oops. Put there. Now we open the game again. Now, as you can see, the texture is, is working correctly. Now, so is mouth. That's the entire process for changing textures, materials, and models.